Hello! This is a Phoenix tutorial video by CDP Inc. I'm Matthew Donnelly and our topic today is adding activities in Phoenix. Let's get started. So here is our partially completed Orange Grove substation project. We've got activities in our milestones, our mobilization, and our construction, WBS. And if we want to go ahead and add an activity, if you hover over the bottom of your table, you'll see the click to add new activity. And if we do this, you'll see it places an activity directly under what you had previously highlighted. Our newly added activity is given an auto numbered ID based on our project settings. And for our description, you can either double click in this cell here, or you can come down to your details editor at the bottom where we then can type in our description to add that in. Keep in mind that when we're adding activities after we make changes in our details window at the bottom we're always going to have to click enter to save those changes. Next we're going to need to change our activity type which you could do in the column cell or you can come down into your details window to change that activity type. We have the capability to change our activity calendar. What is the work week for this activity? And lastly, we can specify our original duration of our activity. For task activity types, we're going to give that a duration for how long this activity is going to take us. So for instance, we can give erect steel structures an eight day original duration. It's important to remember as you're adding new activities that wherever your mouse was highlighted, it's going to insert that directly below it. So in this case, Erect Steel Structures was inserted into the below grade WBS level. But that's not correct. We don't want it there. We need to change this to the correct WBS, which would be above grade. An example of this would be if I highlight Mobilize and I come down below my activity table and choose to click a new activity. It will add directly underneath mobilize and it will auto number correctly where we can then edit our details like our description, type, and duration. Another way that you can add activities to your schedule if you don't want to hover all the way down to the bottom of your activity table is you can highlight where you want to insert your activity and simply use the insert key on your keyboard. The last option we have for inserting activities into our Phoenix schedule is going to be copying and pasting from another project. And this is helpful if you have a template project that you want to use for your new Phoenix schedule. So we can open up our Phoenix project template. We can find our activities that we want to insert into our new project. We can highlight that range using a shift click or control click. And then using our mouse, we can right click copy or control C. We can navigate back to our current project where we can then highlight the area that we want to insert it in, right click and paste or control V. And it's going to open up a paste dialog box for us where we want to auto number the activity IDs. We want to apply the activity codes and their relationships as well as their calendars. You can choose to toggle these on or off depending on what you want to bring over. And once we hit OK, our activities will have been pasted. As always, thanks for watching. You can find our website and further videos at www.cdp-inc.com. We'd love to hear from you. Please reach out to our email or phone number and connect with CDP Inc. on LinkedIn. See you in the next video.